Hey everybody, what's up? This is Pat Flynn from the Smart Passive Income blog. That is me right there. You can find me at smartpassiveincome.com. Thanks for joining me today. I just wanted to shoot this quick video for you to show you how to install the static HTML iframes tab application. Again, that's the static, static HTML iframes tab. Now the reason why this is important is because starting March 11th, 2011, Facebook is actually getting rid of all FBML type stuff. You know, another change that they're doing, that's fine. They're getting rid of more things and changing things. They're getting rid of all FBML. So if you are trying to create a landing page after March 11th, you know, you can't go the route that we did before, which is use the static FBML uh, application. Now we have to go with this one, the static HTML iframes tab, uh, which is which is pretty cool. And actually, you know, don't worry if you already have a landing page that you made with FBML, those aren't going away. Uh, you're not affected at all. It just affects those who are trying to create landing pages and do, you know, uh, create other tabs with FBML. You can't do that anymore. So starting March 11th, you have to go this route in order to create new tabs and create a landing page, which is what our goal is today. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now. If you already have a landing page, you might consider, you know, starting over and doing this because uh, there's some cool things involved that I'm going to show you. So basically, I want to show you that. And what's what's nice is it's HTML, and and you know, we more more people know HTML than FBML, so you're going to have a bit easier chance to make your landing page look really nice, add things like opt-in forms, videos, much easier than before, uh, which is the good thing. Now, just for the purposes of this example, when I show you the landing pages that I create, I'm just going to pop a picture up there, and I'll show you what those pictures look like now because I don't want to get into the code or script or anything uh, like that right now. But if you head on over to smartpassiveincome.com slash FB, FB, that's terrible, uh, F b smartpassiveincome.com slash fb that'll that'll be the blog post that'll kind of embed this video that will also have links to uh scripts and, and html and the like button that you can use all there for you smartpassiveincome.com slash fb that'll redirect you to this blog post so th these are the two images that uh i'm gonna embed you know and actually what's cool is you'll notice that there's two one for fans and one for non-fans. Now that's awesome because, uh, you know, the landing page typically is for the people who are non-fans. Um, and, and our goal with the landing page here is to get them to click the like button to become a fan. You know, it's basically a squeeze page. But now we have the opportunity uh, to really easily create one that is for fans as well. Um, so people who become non-fans will be able to see this one. There's some cool things you could do. I'm sure you could think of things already. I'll go over those things in a second. But just so you know, the width of these images are 520 pixels uh, and, and the height could be whatever you want but but it's a fixed width in Facebook of 520 this particular image is 500 tall uh, 500 pixels it could be however tall you want but this is just for the purposes of, the exa of this example so I have already uploaded or uh, kind of put those images onto a server and um, they're ready to go. So if you don't have your own website where you could upload those pictures, you can put them onto places like, I've heard of people putting them in places like uh, Flickr and, and Photo Bucket or Dropbox, or other places like that. So if you don't have a website, that's what you could do. But I recommend if you do have a website, obviously putting it on your website and uh, in a folder somewhere, making sure you, you can recall where that is coming from because we're going to need that in a second. So the first thing you need to do is obviously create a Facebook page if you haven't you know, go ahead and do that. You can click on the button on the screen right now that'll take you to the video about how to create a, a Facebook page. Now, if you already have one, this is what you have to do to install the static HTML iframes tab. Click on edit page here uh, from the, your wall on your page. And then click on apps here on the left-hand side. This, it's the fourth from the bottom. And you're gonna scroll all the way to the bottom and click on Browse More Applications right there. Now we're gonna search for this application and to properly search for this, make it easier for you, just simply type in static HTML, not FBML, HTML, and iframe. Static HTML iframe, and iframe singular, not plural. You're gonna get different results with plural. And this is the one we want right here. This is done by a guy named Jason Padravac. I'm totally butchering this name. I'm sorry, Jason. Pad Vorak. 
Gosh, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, and he emailed me. He's an SPI reader, so uh, and he 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 told me about this and what it does, and it's awesome. Just in time for this change. I'm sure there are other ones out there, but this one I've worked. Uh, I I've done tests on it, and, and it's really good. So, uh, the way you can remember this is it's the star. So click on that, opens up the application, and to install this on your page, you're gonna have to click on Add to My Page here on the left hand side. It's really easy to install. So add to my page, you're gonna select add to page to this particular page that you have. As you can see, I have multiple pages. And then close. And then I'm gonna head back to my page at facebook.com slash smart passive income. And what's nice about this is you don't have to go into the edit page area in order to edit this application. You can simply scroll down and you'll see that that uh, app was added here to my kind of link or tab area here on the left hand side so I'm gonna click on that and now I'm gonna edit now you're gonna see the image is already in there because I've I've gone through this uh, process before but these these are the uh, this is code and again you can go to uh, smartpassiveincome.com slash FB to get all this code to show an image or to show other things uh, again this is HTML now so it's 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 code that we know or we we can hire someone that knows HTML really easily so this one up here, actually, it's important to know that this box up here, this field up here, is for the non-fans. And this one down here, which is optional, is for the fans only. So as you can see, I have code in there to show the image for non-fans up here and the fans down here. So to kind of save and preview what it's going to look like, I'm going to click Save and View Tab. And what's nice is I can now view my tab as a non-fan and view my tab as a fan. So I'm going to view tab as a non-fan, show you what that looks like. And there you go. So, so obviously it wouldn't look like this. You'd have some type of HTML or, or a better looking image, something that uh, that is, is you know not this. But so what kind of elements would you want to have on the non-fan uh, particular you know landing page? Again, this is the page that people go to that are not fans, and you want them to click on that like button. Again, this is pretty much a squeeze page. So the first thing you could do, is you can add some copy up here that says something like click the like button above. Very clear call to action. And usually the like button will be just to the right of the name of your uh, page. So that's the first thing you can do. The second thing you can do is you can add some basic copy like who you are or what your business is about, you know, benefits about why they should become uh, a fan or click that like button uh, maybe you have some type of offer you know uh, click the like button to get access to a free ebook or something like that or free seven day e-course um, free download uh, another thing you want to add or another thing you can add is like a picture you know people connect with faces and, and people so this would be a great memorable first impression if your picture was on there uh, you don't have to include all these elements. I'm just throwing things off the top of my head. Uh, a video, obviously, you can put a video in there. And again, this is HTML, so it'll be a lot easier to do than with F FBML. Uh, maybe I don't know. That you could put all types of things on there, make it look really nice. Again, drive people to click that like button up there. So now I'm going to show you what it looks like on the fan page or when people become fans, what they see on this particular tab. So to go back, uh, you have to click down here, click back on the welcome. It takes you back to the editing area. Click Save and View Tab. And now I'm going to View Tab as a fan. So now I'm viewing the fan side of things. So this is what people will see when they come to the, uh, the page. And if they click on that non-fan page, they click the Like button. This is what they're going to see now. So what would you want to include on this particular page? You want to include... You can include any number of things, just simply like a thank you, or you know, if you have an offer, you know, you give them that offer. Uh, make sure you fulfill those offers. Uh, maybe a second video or another video here that says thank you, or maybe it has a call to action to go purchase a product or something. Um, another thing you could do is an opt-in form to you know sign up for an email list here to get whatever it is that you're offering. Uh, you know, links, links to your website, more pictures or images. Maybe your photographer is more in your portfolio here. Uh, links to Twitter, you know, an RSS feed, any number of things. Anything you could do in HTML, you could do here. 
Uh, so, so that's what I recommend doing. That That's pretty cool. Now, one other thing I'd like to, to show you before we end is that you can actually go back uh, to this application and you can add more tabs. So you can you can actually uh, have you know more than one of these. You can actually have up to three, I think, and, and you can have them do different things. And if uh, non-fans see them, you know, it'll say one thing, and if a fan sees them, it'll it'll be another thing. So maybe it's a free video something, or maybe a free webinar or something. Again, just other things that you could do to get people to become fans, other things you could do to interact with them. Now, uh, before I go, I want to make sure that you know how to make this particular welcome tab the landing page. Because right now we have this this tab, but it's not exactly the landing page just yet. There's one more step we have to do. And so we're gonna actually go back to our wall. Click on edit page here. And now we're gonna click on manage permissions. Now this is where we can set the default landing tab. And we want to uh, set it to the welcome. Now, this welcome with the exclamation point I know is the old one, the static FBML application. The one we just installed, which is going to be here at the bottom, is right there. So now I know that that's my default landing tab. I'm going to save the changes. Um, and there you go. So now every time someone comes to my Facebook page for the first time, uh, they're going to see that non-fan page and then it's going to have copy to help them click the like button and then they're going to see the fan one and really cool things can happen. So I hope that all makes sense. Again, 520 pixels wide. You can have a non-fan one and a fan one. The name of that application, once again, static HTML iframe tab. And that's it. So hopefully that helps you guys. Thank you so much. If you want to check out my Facebook page for the first time, you can go to facebook.com slash smart passive income, or you can actually go to the shortcut, which is pat on facebook.com. Check out my landing page, see what it looks like. Um, I probably will keep updating it and changing it and try to optimize it. So again, go to smartpassiveincome.com slash FB. If you want to go to the page where this blog post, where this video is embedded to get more downloads and, and scripts that you can get to place on your site uh, and I'll continually add to it so if you're watching this you know the day after I posted this I might not have many things on there right now but I will continually add to it to hopefully help you out so thank you guys so much I really appreciate it I would love it if you become a fan that's my call to action right there head on over click the like button I appreciate it and good luck to you and I wish you all the best thanks bye Oh, and one last thing uh, I wanted to share with you really quick is if you wanted to change the name from welcome to something else so it shows up differently on your uh, on your wall, you can go to apps here after you go to the edit page area, scroll down to the static FBML iframes tab and click on edit settings. And there you could change the name to whatever you want it to be, uh, whether it's free webinar, I don't know, it's up to you. But I just wanted to share that with you. I totally forgot to put it in there. So thank you guys. Take care. Have a good one.